Today we are carrying out intravenous routing by which using a micro device. As you can see from the topology, it is a land setup and organization which has um, three departments, namely the admin, the sales, and the accounting department. So the admin wants to set up a villain in such a way that even between the villains there will be communication. You know, while the villain is like when you are segmenting your land, and if you don't carry out an intervillain the configuration and the setup, the different villains will not communicate. Communication will just be restricted to a particular land. And to do that for other vendors, they make use of a router and a switch. Whereby you configure a router on a stick command, I mean a router and a stick setup on the router, and then you, you set up your trunk and access ports to make the intervillain communication you know effective. But on a micro tech device, you don't need an additional you know um, equipment. The micro device itself will do all and it will do it effectively. The majority of the configuration will be carried out on our switch. We can take this as our four switch on the central switch. I'll be showing us how we can do the configuration on the um, command line. And in some cases, I will switch to um, the wind port. So let us go ahead as we, as we do the configuration one step at a time. Now, from the command line, the first thing that we need to do is to create a bridge. And to create a bridge, this is the command, particularly in microsoft just add the name. What was the name of the bridge? I can call this man. I'm um, sorry. Um, you can see that uh, the name that I gave, the first letter are in capital letter. Why the small letter? Why the last letter is small? So to correct this, I just need to use the set command and the line number. In this case, the zero. Since I only created one bridge, just a name, big post, the last so letter of uniformity. Also, since I'm not running the, you know, a bridge setup, I don't need the, the protocol mode to be on RSTP. I only need to be on one. So to correct that, I'm still on that line. I just say protocol mode. I use the tab key to complete the so if you, you want to view it again you can see the name is not uniform and the protocol mode is set to none the next thing to do is to add ports to the bridge that you have created so what are the ports that we are adding we're adding ports two ports three and ports four so add which bridge are we adding the ports to we are adding it to the bridge that we have created and on which interface it uh, two using the open arrow to bring back the previous command so that um, it can be very fast. So to view this as well, go use the print command. You can see I've added the two, three, and four to the bridge which we gave the name now. The next step now is to change the PVID this particular column to the VLAN numbers and to make the you know, to make it seamless and make it easy. On it are two, I've given it uh, VLAN 20, 3, 30, then on it are 4, VLAN 14. Just to do that, follow the, here we set the line number is 0, then the parameter I want to change, PVID, and that is 20. So I've, I've changed the value, the PVID value for it are two from 1 to 20 using this command. Then for the other ones, just need to change the line number that is one and this will be 30. You can also do this on the one box as well. I just want to show us today on the command line. So I've I've uh, created a bridge, added post to it and changed the PV ID values. You can see that um, from this display now it actually is not around the PV ID of it at 20. I mean VLAN 20, the other one 30, and the next one is 40. After this, I now need to specify my trunk and access ports. In this design, my bridge is serving as the trunk port, while the, the interfaces is actually 13 and 4 are the access ports. So I'll try and set my bridge to serve as the configuring the bridge to serve as a trunk port. It takes this uh, command. So 
Instead of interface bridge port, we just change uh, the last value to VLAN. Programming by that, just it is a change. Instead of typing the command again, interface bridge port, then you know, just uh, build the dot dot, then whichever value, this will change the last value to it. So to do that, just um, follow this path. And the trunk ports now, which have, you can specify using um, the bridge um, parameter. Then the tag. Now this is for the trunk ports. That is my bridge and the tag. Definitely will be ETA2, ETA3, and ETA4. ETA and the villain ID is for this. So I'll do this for the remaining. So just use the open arrow, change this to 30, and then to 3. Change the other one to 40. That should be uh, 4. We'll view it. So the next one is to now configure villain interfaces. We need to configure VLAN interfaces that will allow the, the bridge to handle tagged and untagged uh, traffic. But so that will be done under the that will be done under interfaces and VLAN. So I can just leave this option. So, my interface, I'm creating a VLAN. I want to create VLAN interfaces now. My interface will be by the um, interface is bigger. The name will be VLAN. So, it's at 20. Let me just call it VLAN 20. The VLAN ID. Was the words last 20. Same thing for the other villains. That's 20. One idea of 20. Must come with 40. The next step is to um, attach IP addresses. To the VLAN that I have created so that we can have really a three communication in between all our VLANs that we have created. So that will be done under the IP address name. And that is configured by this IP address. Then for interface will be the VLAN that we have created. That's my mind faster than my finger. Villain 14. I'm sorry, submit mask. You can decide depending on your on the design that you have. Decide to change the subnet mask. These are like a guidance for now. 14. Now the next the last step to ensure that there'll be that is there'll be congestion between it. We have to go back to our bridge. Is, well, sorry, that should be in small letters. So this is a feature that we need to change VLAN filtering. Once we change this to yes, there will be inter VLAN communications between our hosts. But if you leave it at no, communication will only be restricted to that particular VLAN. VLAN 20 will not communicate with VLAN 30, we still don't know. So to do this, just in the set command. The line number and the option that I want to change. I need to tap it to complete this. So, with this, we have carried out.
So to verify if there will be layer 3 communication between all the layers, you just need to attach those switch factor. We need to configure the respective IP addresses on our host. So this is like a virtual device. I think is an IP on fancy. Okay, that's done. Which other one? Let me also do for this. Got to look now. Um, okay, this is on IP. This is on the sales now, will be on three. So, so this way. Okay, let's see. Let's use this tool to test. Okay, first, can I paint the gateway of my VLAN? All right, it's reachable. And can I paint the host? And, uh, well, let me paint the gateway of the other VLAN. All right, so I can read the gateway, definitely the host should be reachable. Fine. So let us also confirm for this um, the gateway. For the other thing now, nice. And now to the host. So that's it. So that's it. So that is how you carry out um, intervillan routing using bridge on a microtech device. This is um, easy. Just then take your time to study it, practice it, then implement it. You can contact us if you have any issues on your network. I'll be very, very happy. To render our assistance. So on the wind box, let me see if I can. Yeah, on the wind box, let's just go through it. On the wind box, you create your bridge. It has already been created just by clicking on the plus sign. You can see the VLAN filtering is where you enable it on the bridge. Ah, wait, is it that it's not enabled? Can I confirm? It's my bridge. The trade bridge, yes, it's enabled. Let me confirm from my windbox. Okay, it's already checked. Ready now to add ports to your uh, micro devices. Just come to under the bridge window, click ports, you click your add. And whatever, let's say you want to add the additional, let's say it has seven. So select the VLAN, this is where you specify the PVI, you can say 70, whichever designation you have preferred to use. And go to IP, click on addresses, add, or supply your, you know, go to VLAN first, tap this VLAN, add the name, the VLAN ID, and the bridge where it will be running. That's the line. And go to IP addresses. Just follow the as I'm typing it on the command prompt. It's the same thing while you, as you are going to be moving using your win box. IP address. Sorry. IP address. Add and supply your parameters. So that is how you can see, like I said, it's a micro is economical. You don't need to buy a router and a switch for carrying out uh, intervillan routing. Just using the bridge parameter in micro on your network, you can uh, carry it out seamlessly. So subscribe to our video, share, like, contact us. We'll be glad to help you out. Thank you very much. Watch out for more videos from us.